How's it hanging everyone? CG here. Welcome back to another video on the Simtastic Jack channel. Today we're going to be talking about the past week in American Truck Simulator 2 and Euro Truck Simulator 2 news. And I got this really nice radiating light behind me. <laughs> Perfect for this video. So if you didn't know, every week SCS releases a few different blog posts on their blog. Um, and typically these blogs aren't necessarily enough to make a full-fledged video out of each in my personal opinion But uh, there's plenty here to be able to make like a weekly like news recap video uh, Of what's going on with the SCS Euro Truck Simulator games and beyond I think it's a good idea Let me know what you think down below in the description if you'd like to see more But anyway moving on the first thing we uh, have here is with American Truck Simulator Oh, <laughs> voice crack there We have the Wyoming DLC coming soon and SCS is teasing us with a few more pictures of Wyoming and this time we're looking at local bodies of water such as reservoirs rivers lakes and dams and that's we got plenty of pictures of those here now again Wyoming is more of a rural state you're not necessarily going to have any major cities so there's plenty of room for reservoirs lakes and that type of stuff and you're gonna see plenty of that here in Wyoming and that's what SCS was teasing here and we also here have the Boysen Dam which we'll be able to drive around and drive through uh, which is located in Wyoming and then we also have some non man-made lakes here we have some cool lakes here such as Bear Lake and Wind River Lake and these of course are gonna be uh, available in American Truck Simulators Wyoming DLC hopefully coming out soon we still don't have a release date um, but I'm hoping that it is soon but again I hope SCS take their time because so far everything they put out for America truck has been super really high quality so I'm hoping that Wyoming is no different and it's looking like it's going to be a really cool state it's Wyoming is not gonna be a state for people necessarily who love going to cities because you really don't have any major cities in fact more people live in my metropolitan area than in the entire state of Wyoming so it's not necessarily a place you're gonna find any big metropolitan centers but still it makes up for that with a lot of wide open roads wide open open highways forests and a lot of cool stuff like that so even though I'm more of a city person I'm still pretty excited for Wyoming I can't wait for it to come out I'm always gonna be hyped for a new American truck and along with that we also have the open beta of 1.41 uh, releasing for Euro Truck Simulator 2 similar to how it got released with American Truck Simulator you now have easy access to be able to play with your friends in multiplayer with up to eight people in the convoys multiplayer uh, system and you also have all the goodies available in American Truck now and there are still some issues such as mods not being available AI vehicles disappearing when the when a player disconnects from the game steam invites only working through the steam overlay and stuff like that and of course with that you get the new photo mode as well which allows you to change the time and weather options uh, when taking pictures which is really cool and that's been available in American truck for a bit with the 1.41 update so it's finally coming to Euro truck simulator 2 and of course you get the quick travel feature uh, and all that stuff and the convoy multiplayer but you also get a cool new addition if you own the Iberia DLC you get the a24 which is a highway that SCS didn't wasn't able to complete in time for the release of Iberia but they wanted to complete it nonetheless and are just adding it in post release so if you own the Iberia DLC you'll be getting this road for free and this road takes you across the Duro River Valley and I hope I'm saying that right connecting the A7 and the A25 and it passes through a really cool area of Portugal and we have some other news such as Crone trailers 25th anniversary of the cool liner and with this uh, 25th anniversary uh, SCS teamed up with Crone to deliver a special Crone cool liner 25th anniversary paint job to the cool liner trailer which of course is available for free if you own the Crone trailer DLC pack but that's it for me tonight thank you all for tuning in again let me know if you like this format of video uh, instead of just doing a video on every single blog post that comes out but that's it for me tonight let me know if you like the video be sure to rate comment favorite subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video have a good night everyone